Hi everybody. So one of the other things that I buy at the farmer's market every week is mushrooms. There's an, there's an incredible mushroom vendor at the farmer's market and uh, I pretty much every week get a mitake mushroom and then I get some other varieties. Like this week I got some shiitake and then every so often I'll get lion's mane or you name it, you know, just whatever looks really good that week. But mitake is a standby I do every week if I can. Um, this week, look at how gorgeous this is. This is extraordinary. See that? Gorgeous, right? So as many of you know, mitake is so great for your immune system. And, you know, and I got to say, probably in the whole COVID era, I've, I've eaten some, not quite this much every week, but, but close. And my family loves, loves these. So one really easy way to make this is, um, and I kind of hate to crumble it up because it's so perfect, but I'm going to do that. So what I do is I take a big cast iron skillet and, and then I crumble it into little pieces. I should tell them I don't need the perfect ones because I rarely cook it whole. I like it in little pieces. And what I find is that it's good to just cook it up and then it keeps in the refrigerator and it's phenomenal as like a, um, like a crunchy topping on a salad. Um, it, you know, so I tend, or put it in some scrambled eggs or like an omelet. Um, I definitely scramble it in with my pumfu and vegetables in the morning. Uh, you name it. I mean, you can just do so many great things with it. And I, everyone's different on how they like to cook this, but I personally like to uh, kind of cook it until it's a little, a little crunchy and I do it in the oven. So I, I've got the oven here preheating and I've set it for 400. And so I crunch up the mushroom. We are almost done here. <laughs> it's so fast and you will not believe how good it is. And my partner is mostly vegetarian and uh, you know, he finds that being able to have some, some mushrooms in his diet really makes him feel like he's eating something interesting that almost has a consistency and a taste like meat, you know, so you can, you can even sprinkle these on a sandwich even. It's, it's, so you can do a lot with them. So I crumpled it into little pieces and this is going to look like a lot of olive oil, but I, but I do put a pretty generous amount on here um, because it soaks it up. So I put some, and by the way, this is fresh organic olive oil, extra virgin from the farmer's market also. This is a Nash's olive oil. He makes a whole variety of different kinds of olive oil. This is the mission, full bodied mission. Love it. And, um, and then I do a lot of different things, but one thing I love to do is use some of this seasoning. It's an organic savory shiitake seasoning. So it's got a little shiitake, even dried shiitake mushroom in there, but a lot of other flavors as well. And it's, it's so good. So I'll put a pretty decent amount. Cause remember this can almost be like a crouton, you know, in a salad or something. So it's nice to have a little salty pop. And then I like to put something spicy. Like, so this is an organic harissa, which has got some chili pepper flakes and, and things like that in there. And um, once in a while, I will do something else, like squeeze a little bit of like an orange even in here, just to give it a different flavor. Um, so you basically just massage all the spices and oils into it. That's all you do. And then when the oven is close to 400, you stick it in there and then just check on it. Um, you know, depends on how much is in here, how long it's going to take, but you know, maybe, maybe you cook it 15, 20 minutes and it's done. And so then I'll have some of these for the week. This is a lot. Um, hopefully I'll be having guests. <laughs> Um, to eat some of these because I don't think I could finish all these in the week or my, you know, my partner and my daughter's at college this week, so she's not home. 
So uh, anyway, but pairs with great with you name it. If you're gonna do steak or you're gonna do fish or chicken or whatever, or by itself. A lot of times this is hardy enough to just be kind of on its own. I'm also going to do, um, this is a lemon from my friend's tree. And something is telling me to put a little lemon rind in here right now. And so just do a tiny squeeze of that. And there we go. Um, this has a little salt in it. So I'll tell you what's in here. The savory seasoning is Celtic sea salt. That's applewood smoked and some spring onion, celery, and shiitake mushroom. There we go. All right. Thanks guys.